Welcome everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Louis Duquerre. I'm VP Marketing at uh, AGT Robotics. So uh, welcome to this webinar that will feature a robotic welding system for pallet rack storage systems. Uh, we'll have basically three uh, segments. The first one is I'll have a short presentation of AGT. Then I'll present that specific equipment. And then we'll go to the live uh, demonstration of the different features of, of the system. So just a few technical words. If you hear my voice right now and you don't see any image, uh, there might be a little um, uh, little button on the screen with a little camera on it. You make sure that uh, not your webcam, but the webcam system is on. You can also minimize the, uh, the panel, the control panel that you see on your screen by clicking the uh, red arrow uh, that is on, typically on the right of your screen. You can also, I think everyone is uh, muted right now. Uh, but if we have someone dedicated to the chat uh, system, so if you have any question, just feel free to, uh, to chat, uh, to, to write your questions, and we'll have someone answer them during the webinar and also a few minutes after the demonstration is over. Um, a few slides on AGT, who we are, what we do. Um, AGT has been in business since 1992. We are a uh, custom robotic integrator. We've done many uh, systems and equipment, uh, mostly on the metallic sector. And uh, our, one of our niche is for low volume uh, iMix applications. Uh, we also have, a, um, as a shareholder, a large investment firm uh, that has over uh, 159 billions of assets. Um, we have standard products, we do custom solutions, and we also can analyze and do pre-engineering studies for uh, very complex and uh, large applications. Part of our standard product lines is the Beammaster Fit and Weld that will fit and weld um, structural steel structures for, uh, for fabricators. We also have another uh, entry-level machine that we call the Beammaster Weld that will uh, weld, automatically weld an already uh, fitted uh, beam. We also have the gouge master that uh, will uh, prepare pipes for, for weld. On the custom solution side, basically there's three levels. The first level is hard automation. Uh, so it's a dedicated machine, not necessarily uh, with a robot. So it can be very efficient to tackle uh, some very specific tasks. We also uh, build robotic systems, like the one you see behind me and the one you'll see it during the demonstration, it's, uh, it uses robots, so it adds a great level of flexibility uh, since you can reprogram for as your production uh, can increase in variety and in complexity. Third level is when we add the uh, SLT module to a robotic system. SLT meaning, uh, goes for self-learning technology, so basically many applications where there's a, a very low volume of part and an high diversity uh, can get tough because you need to program a lot. You need to, to actually program the robot for each part. So when the diversity gets really high, uh, greater, a, we have developed the technology, technology actually go either from a CAD or a 3D scan directly into the robot so the robot knows exactly what to do and actually program it. When the system gets very complex and different process uh, interaction with other systems or equipment in your plant, uh, we can start with a pre-engineering uh, studies or layout analysis or automation opportunity analysis. So you see on your screen right now different layouts and different uh, things we've done or studied in the past. So that can be a great way to start robotics or automation if the need does not uh, be uh, clarified. Okay, different process we master. Of course, all the process related to the metallic industry. So assembly uh, on this machine, it's, a, it's, a, it's an operator that would actually assemble the part. We have other robotic systems where it's a robot that will pick the part and position the part. But we uh, do cutting system in plasma, the plasma mostly, grinding, welding, inspection. We also uh, team up with parts or painting, shot painting, or um, sandblasting systems as well. 
So let's talk a little more about the equipment uh, behind me before we go to the actual demonstration. So it's a dedicated system for a uh, pallet storage system that still use very flexible robot if uh, or, uh, and, uh, so the system could be reprogrammed easily. The process basically is there's a beam channel, there's a connect plate, and we, uh, we actually need the 12 part to get. So on one side, there is a fillet weld, and on the other side, there is a uh, flare bevel weld. Uh, we use a 35,000 uh, wire with a, uh, a gas metal arc uh, welding system. We use a rapid arc vertical down weld, and as I said, flare bevel and the uh, fill it on one side. <clears throat> so basically the challenge, the challenge to robotize the production, to increase speed and increase the, the level of production because uh, the, there's a labor shortage that specific manufacturer gets more and more orders and, and needs to find a way to speed things up. Uh, it's like, as I said, is a, it's an issue you'll see a system that uh, actually the, the people at operators loading the parts uh, need to be very, very fast to keep up the fast pace that the, the robot uh, is uh, posing. So possible solutions, stay manual, still have those issues where it's, a, it's somewhat of a repetitive task and one day you'll have a certain level of production and the other day it could be a little more, a little less, so it's uh, depending on, uh, on the work of uh, working on the application. Or an robot that will be repetitive, that you can easily add a second or, or even a third chip uh, with, the, or, uh, with the standard operators. So, the solution we've built, uh, it's a two-section system that uses two FANUC robots and Lincoln Electric building equipment. So, a little bit on how it works. So, uh, a few features, few alarms. So, there's one peach pendant, a control that, that will control the robot. Only one peach pendant for both robots. And the, uh, the entire installation is on skid. So, uh, it's pretty easy to move it from one side of the plan to the, uh, the other side if the layout would change over time and over the years. different uh, part sizes that, that are accepted, so different section ranging from two and a half inch to up to six and a half inch and even a little more. And same things in the, in the in length. Uh, it goes from uh, 36 up to 144 inches with an increment of two inches. So you have the operators that will load the system on one side so they load the, the, the beam, they load the, the connector plates. There's four of them. For larger beams, you can load four beams. For shorter beams, you can actually load even, uh, eight beams. And, and once uh, this is loaded, you'll actually see it uh, in the demo coming. The operator waits until the, on the robot side, the welding is done. They'll hold, in, hold the, the green while Ferris wheel turns, and then the robot will actually uh, automatically uh, weld, weld the beam. So, as you can see, there's a pretty easy control panel. The uh, Ferris wheel will turn, and the robot will weld the So, a few benefits before we go to uh, the demo section. Of course, the main thing is it's very fast. It's secure, so the robot cannot move while everything's in place. There's a, a lot of security features included in the system. Robots are very, very reliable. Uh, typically, they go 50,000 hours MTBF, so in time failures. It's flexible. As I said, if the, the model would change, the, the length would change, the section would change, it would be easy to reprogram to uh, change in production, and it's really easy to operate. So let's go to the demo section, and uh, we'll use a few operators to uh, start the system. Go, guys. Thanks.
So as you can see right now, the uh, there were already beams loaded in the section. So while the robots are running, uh, operators are currently assembling the next parts to be welded. Uh, one thing to mention is uh, for the webinar purposes, we've removed the, uh, the wall that is between the loading section and the robot section uh, just for you to, to actually see uh, a little bit more about the process. But uh, normally you would have a, uh, an actual wall that would prevent the operators from seeing uh, sparks in one players. So now what you will see is the robots are going to the, uh, the cleaning station to make sure the, the wire is uh, appropriate for the job. And right after that, they'll be ready to actually start. For security reasons, they have to do that process. As you can see, they, they, they enter the section. They need to do it once the Ferris wheel is in place. So now we're using a, a specific section and a specific length. But as you can see, uh, all arms you see in the loading station can be moved around to accommodate for, for different length and different quantity of parts that are loaded in the loading section. So as you can see, it's a very simple operation. The uh, operator uh, involvement is very limited, and the uh, the ease of use is uh, is great uh, because of the operations. Are So once again, I think we'll uh, just use a last last uh, welding cycle. But I guess uh, you understand a little bit the the concept that uh, the so the robots are are working most of the time, and it's a very efficient and fast system to uh, to, to to do very very uh, quality quality welds for somewhat a simple operation.
So at the end of this cycle, we'll uh, zoom a little bit on the final product to see the, the well quality. And uh, that's going to be the end of this webinar. So uh, once again, for you, uh, for those of you who have a specific question, you can use the, uh, the chat module. Or you can uh, also write to the, uh, the email address or contact us uh, by phone to the, the email address uh, in the invitation you got to know uh, to have uh, more information on this system or any other custom robotic system for welding application that you may have in your plant. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for attending this webinar. Um, if uh, actually, if you are here with us today, that means that you you've watched it uh, live. But if you want, if you had technical issues, you'll be it, it's going to be uh, the integral version. The video version will be on our website in the coming days, and we'll uh, all send you a link in order to to download it. Thank you very much, and uh, have a good day.